Hi, this is Phil, and you're watching The Joy of Electronics. In this video, I'm going to talk about switches, uh, specifically a three position double pull, double throw switch. I need one of these for uh, a mod to a, a big muff uh, guitar effects pedal um, that, uh, that I've built. So uh, the purpose of this three position double pull, double throw is to allow uh, a circuit to switch between two different capacitors along the same path. So I've got uh, a three position double pull, double throw switch here and this one, um, the circuit in this switch is called on, off, on. Now you can get three position double pull, double throws um, that are on, 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 that are on, none, on, and a whole bunch of combination of positions. But you can think of this as position uh, one, two, and three. Uh, and those are the three positions of the double pull, double throw. Now you can see here that it has six poles and three positions of the switch. Uh, you can't see that here. I'll take it out. You can see here we've got the center position, one side, and the other side of center. And I'll show you what that does. So, if we mark the poles here on our paper, got six poles, and I'll do them in the three positions according to the orientation of the switch. So we'll say that this is switch center, so switch one way. And this is switched the other way. So, in the center position of the switch, uh, because this is an on off on, and we can think of that in these terms on, off, on, because the center position is off, nothing has continuity. And uh, we're in the center position, so I can put my multimeter on continuity check touch the terminals, nothing's got continuity. Now, if I switch uh, the switch to one of the other positions, we can think of it uh, in these terms. It will connect two of these poles. So, switch it in the position. We can see now that have continuity here and I have continuity here but still no continuity between the center two no continuity between the other side or the center and the other side only here and here and those are the opposite poles of the ones I've drawn here but the concept is the same if I switch it the other way it's going to connect the center to the other side so I've switched the switch to the other side and we've got continuity between the other two poles, or between the center and the other two poles, I should say. So in this way, if we were to put a component, like I will be doing, between the two sets of outer poles, say a capacitor here, and a capacitor down here, we'll do that to these diagrams. You can see that in this position, a signal path is going through the capacitor on those poles. In the center position, the signal path is broken, it's not going anywhere. And in the other position, or the position on the other side, you can see that the signal path is going through the other capacitor. So in that way, we can have a circuit, that, a signal path that comes in and either is in the off position and it's open, or it is closed between one side or the other side of the switch. So what this looks like in practice, because I've wired one up already, if I can just find it, 
is something like this, where we have our two capacitors connected, uh, one to the top two poles, one to the bottom two poles, and then we have our leads on the center poles. And if I switch over to my capacitance meter, which these are great, they come in handy when testing capacitors um, out of circuit for the most part. We can see that with the switch in the center position, we have no reading. If I switch it to one of the positions, we still have no reading. Why is that? Uh, just a loose, uh, I'm on the insulation here. There we go. So we have uh, 4.6 nanofarads on one side. I had just connected the alligator to the insulation rather than the bare lead. So I can switch it to switch to the other position and we have a, uh, a 10 uh, nanofarad capacitor on one side and in the center again no reading on the other side we have 4.6 although it should be 4.7 nanofarads and on the other side we have 10 nanofarads so there you have it we have our three position double pull double throw ready to go into the big muff so thanks for watching, I'm Phil and this has been the joy of electronics.